Section 2.2, number 15. Here we have a linear equation with a fraction in it. And we're going to use a multiplication property to help clear away the fraction and to solve the equation. So if we want to get rid of this fraction here, 4 17 is being multiplied to x, we multiply the fraction by its reciprocal. So flip it over and multiply. That's okay to do as long as we do the, other, the same thing to the other side. So these guys all cancel out. And we're left with x equals, and here we can do some simplifying. 4 divides into 28, and think of this as a 28 over 1, if you like to see it as fraction multiplying fraction instead. Sometimes it's easier to see what cancels that way. Leaving us a 7, so we get 7 times 17, or x is equal to 119. And that would be it. Let's do one more here, 2.2 number 16. Again, we have some fractions. So we're going to use the same process. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction that's next to the x. So let's bring it down here, get a bit more space. Multiply by 5 over minus 4, both sides. These guys cancel out, and we're left with x equals, and we can do some canceling on the right. We have 5 divides into 15 three times, 4 goes into 8 twice, and don't forget that the minus sign is still here, it didn't get canceled. So we get x equals 2 times 1, or just 2, over 3, and then there's a minus sign. So we get x equals minus 2 thirds.